Okay, on example two, it says the data below was gathered on home values in two different counties. The county commissioners in county B think that their average home value from their county is significantly greater than the average home values from county A. It summarizes the most significant alpha level. So county B, this county here, their county commissioners think that their average home values are greater than the average home values from county A. So we're thinking that average from B is greater than the average from A. We got two different groups, two different groups of people, and we're comp uh, comparing their averages, their mean uh, household uh, home value, their mean home value. So if we're comparing means from two different groups, we're going to be doing an unpaired t-test. So I need to get this data, and there's a lot of data in here, uh, over to that uh, uh, Excel sheet that's the unpaired t-test. Well, that data is on the very last sheet of the Excel sheet called data. And if you go to data and scroll to the right, you'll see uh, section 6.1 and 8.1 uses the same data for home values. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and uh, copy it. And then go to my... Um, unpaired t-test, and here that is, and then right over here, I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click and paste special as values, that data in there. And once that gets that in there, you automatically have uh, the number of people sampled, the number of homes sampled from each county. Here's county A, here's county B, here's the sample mean from the two. Uh, county A is 137,200, county B is 161,333. So county B is greater than county A, but is it significantly greater? And here's your standard deviations. Click this button and it copies it over. And then once it copies it over, you can uh, answer the question. Now, where are we checking? Well, we're checking to see if county B is significantly greater than county A. That's not this one, because this is county A is significantly greater than county B. This one read from right to left is county B is significantly greater than county A. So we're actually doing a left tail test here on this. And we'll check it at the most significant alpha level. And we can see that at the uh, 0.05 alpha level, we get do not reject the null hypothesis. And I would think that if I change this to 0.1, I would get the same result because the p-value is 0.2505. But I always recommend that you change that uh, alpha level and check it because this p-value could change because of the change in formula that could happen. So let's check the 0.1 alpha level and the p-value didn't change and even if it does change it doesn't seem to change that much on the based on the two different formulas. So um, and the formulas are shown in your book if you wanted to see what they look like, how they would uh, be different from each other. But anyway, this p-value is greater than that alpha level, so we do not reject the null hypothesis. So was the county commissioner of B, can we uh, uh, say his, his claim is correct, that the average uh, values in county B are greater than the average home values in county A? No, we can't, because we cannot reject this null hypothesis. So even though yeah, this value here, 161,000, is greater than this 137,000. It's not significantly greater. It's not enough greater to make the inference to say that the average of all the home values in County B are significant, is greater than the average home values for all the homes in County A. So again, we would summarize this. At any alpha level, I was unable to show that the average home values in County B were significantly greater than the average home values in County uh, A. And if you wanted to do a uh, confidence interval for this, you would have to take this data and get it over here, which it is. When you click the copy button, it takes it all and puts it in every place you would ever need it. And here, since this is 0.01 right now, what we would have down here is a 99% confidence interval. And you can see that zero is within that interval, meaning that you know it could be significantly uh, uh, A could be significantly greater or A could be significantly less. And uh, if you check it, even clear out to the 0.1 alpha level, a negative will still be in there, and that's a 90% confidence interval then, and you see that negative is in there. So, uh, I mean, a zero is in there, meaning that county A could be greater or county A could be less than. So uh, we're not, uh, we are unable to show that one is greater than the other, and we're unable to show that county B is significantly greater than county A. And that will do it with that, uh, that section.